Howdy, everybody. I don't know why I decided to greet like that, but, uh, it's me. It's time for another stream. Woo! <laughs> um, sorry for being a couple minutes late. Um, I may or may not have watched an episode of Squid Game, and I may or may not have needed some time to recover. Um, <laughs> but also, um... I highly recommend Squid Game to anybody who can, you know, handle stuff, especially if you like death games, which, I mean, if you like my channel, you probably like Zero Escape and Danganronpa and Your Turn to Die, and I think Zanky Zero is one, and then, what's another one? Azumi Neko a death game? I'm not entirely sure. I guess it has a lot of death in it, so I'm gonna, I'll count it, Umi Neko, uh, fucking, a lot of death games, a lot of death games out there. Um... But yeah, if you like that stuff, definitely watch Squid Game, even though I know it's probably, like, overrated at this point. Um, actually, side note, my boyfriend called... <laughs> my boyfriend called Squid Game the death game for normies, since, like, everybody and their fucking mother is watching it right now, and... Actually, I really didn't like, I mean, I knew, I was like, yeah, ha, that's funny. That's so accurate. But it didn't hit me how accurate it was until one of my coworkers, who's just like not, not nerdy. Like from what I can gather, he's just like not nerdy. He started talking about it. He's like, yo, Squid Game is so good. And I'm just like, with my fucking Danganronpa and Your Turn to Die and all that other jazz, like decoration, I have a little, have a little printed printed artwork from all those different games and I'm just like yeah it's real good <laughs> I love zero escape man anyway um I'm gonna draw some stuff today I'm gonna be working um, a little bit on commissions I think I, I might also depending um I might switch over and work on some more spooky emotes considering Friday's the first day of spooky season or spooky month specifically it's already spooky season let's be completely honest um all right I'll stop gabbing at y'all through silence let's let's uh let's throw some good music music on there oh, I just had my tab open where is it boom um I don't know how loud that is for you guys I think right now it's not even on oh hopefully that wasn't uh too loud for y'all. I'll keep it chill. Keep it chill. Uh, maybe like a good, what is that? 20 decibels, something. We'll try it. We'll try this right here. Maybe that's a good volume for y'all. Um, I'm gonna turn up for myself too. Or am I not work? Am I not turning it up for myself? Why am I? I know it's. Oh. Interesting. Huh, my volume controls are a little different than, than what I'm used to. I wonder if something updated. Anywho, um, commissions and spooky emotes. That's the plan for tonight. But right now, I think I'm going to start with some commission stuff. Where did I put my files? They're right here. Yes, so last time I was working on this guy Yeah. His name is Cody, and I think I was in the middle of shading him, is what it looks like. So I think that's a good place to uh, start, get all warmed up and shade and stuff. And where's my glove? Oh, it's on the floor. Great, wonderful. <laughs> my headphones are like not, the cord's tangled up. Oh my god, how did I even get them this twisted? How is that possible? <laughs> Don't mind me, just like struggling to untangle all these cords. Ugh. Okay. We're here, we're good. Hope everyone's having a good Wednesday. It's been kind of weird lately, to me at least. Um, I'm certainly feeling the effects of the Mercury retrograde. Uh, it's Mercury's last retrograde, woo, of 2021, so. We make it through this, we'll be done for the rest of the year, I guess. But then, of course, years start over, and so. <laughs> but, uh, we're struggling. At least we're struggling together, right? Misery loves company. <laughs> it's just been like, I don't know, something's off. Definitely feels off. All right. Um, oh, I'm going to open up my skin reference as well. Actually, wait. I think I have it in the document now. Do I? 
No! Uh, yes, I do! I saved it in a pallet! Oh, thank you, Past Bree. I was thinking... I was... I was really... I was thinking ahead. I was thinking ahead. Go me. Yay. Um... I don't even know... Oh, oh, fuck. I just had... What? I just had had it. Uh, let's go... Yeah, let's go blend. Wait, what is 3x3 three three average? Yeah, that's fine. Alright. What layer is this? I should just... I should do this. Ah! <laughs> it's one eye! It's it's the wide of the eye. I'm, I'm just gonna... That's so small. I'm gonna say... I'm gonna label my layer so I can remember that. I white. Midna, no one can see you, sweet baby girl, but they sure can probably hear you rubbing against the microphone. No, you can't sit there. It's I, I need that space, silly. <laughs> if you're gonna get up there, then get up there and lay on your blanket. I put her a blanket. I, I, I've kind of given up trying to deter her from jumping up on the shelf. Um, but I did put her a, uh, a blanket up there, so she'll, like, maybe stay up there longer if she's more comfortable. And she won't jump down as often. Which kind of worked. But she still does jump down and scares the shit out of me. Um, like last night, when I was actually playing some Phasmophobia with my friend Emma. Uh, if you happen to catch that one Phasmophobia stream I did with her. Um, that was who I played with. Uh, we played some Phasm... We're getting better. We're getting a lot better. But um, we had like just gotten hunted. And I, we had, like, ran out of the house, and it was really scary. And then all of a sudden, Midna jumped down, and I, like, almost peed my pants. <laughs> and I was like, Midna, you can't do that to me! You can't! I just did that on the lair. That is... Why did I do that? Why did I do that? Why did I not check that that... Shit. You know what? Actually, I'm gonna do it this way. Actually, why did I select that? Look, look at me, organizing my layers like that. Cool. Now we have both and they're all a separate layer. Luckily I wasn't too dumb. Wasn't too dumb and didn't catch myself before it got way too, way, way too far into the process. I'll blend that out. Ain't no thing. <clears throat> Get some fingies in there. I started calling fingers and fingerprints fingies because I've been watching a lot of in sim stream phasmophobia. He's like my tutorial. I like, I want to learn how to get good and he's like a fucking expert. So I just kind of watch his streams. And his VODs and his YouTube videos to try and like, oh, maybe if I can, I can just assimilate some of his, uh, his strategies. <laughs> I just want to get good at it. I'm sure it's not as scary when you get good at it. So, you know. <laughs> oh, man. We thought we were doing so well. We were like... We, like, moved up from amateur to intermediate. We were like, yeah, we can handle this. We're doing great. We're, like, actually getting the ghost right. And we're, you know, we're we're not always hiding in the truck. Always. Um, we can totally handle this. And then <laughs> we kept dying <laughs> and getting the answers wrong. And I was like, well, that was short-lived. <laughs> Oops. Oopies. If 
I had to play some Stardew Valley afterwards to cleanse my palate so I didn't have nightmares. <laughs> Which is probably going to be me, like, all through October, because, like, I'm going to be playing a lot of horror games, and I'm probably going to get scared, and I'm probably going to have super vivid nightmares, because that's how I, that's how I do it. <laughs> I get, like, really vivid nightmares. It's okay, though. That's what it's all about. Spooky season, damn it. Gotta do it right. I was kind of thinking of adding some, um, some spooky season, uh, sound alerts, too. Like, point, like, you can use your channel points to scare the shit out of me. <laughs> Um, I don't know which ones I want to use, though. I know some people, like, do screamers, which, like, maybe I can do. I don't know if I can handle that per se. What's kind of funny is actually at work, um, they're gonna have a Halloween sale soon on our website, There's discounts and whatnot, you know, the usual business stuff. Um, but we've kind of, my, my team, the design team, we've been, uh, we had like a little friendly competition just to design some random thing for. A business that didn't really exist and we had so much fun and we were like oh this is like good we get to flex our skills we get some practice we get portfolio material um so we just you know we were having a lot of fun with it and uh my manager was like well you know what why don't we make a flyer for the halloween sale and like whoever wins like that'll be obviously the one that we use to and I was like, yeah. And it was kind of funny because, like, even the, some of the non-designers, like, some of the upper management, they're like, oh, I'm totally going to do this. I might have to borrow your crayons, though. <laughs> but um, I actually just made... I actually just made one today that was, like, about a zombie. I guess I was getting myself in the mood for working on this zombie movie poster commission. It all fits. Oh gosh, I'm not in skin blending mode today, am I? Maybe I'm just too heavy handed and I should lighten it up a little. You know what? <laughs> I might just try that whole thing again. I won't delete the layer, but you know what? Let's give that another go. <laughs> I don't really think I was in any kind of correct technique. Try again.
Perhaps I should be more sparing with this one since it's so dark. Should pick a different. change my I didn't I didn't change my oh my god I'm so stupid let me I didn't change my uh, category <laughs> excuse me while I fix my stream usually I'm so good about that. see that's what I'm talking about like things are just off let me fix this real quick I'm so sorry not a let's play <laughs> Um, let's do that works. There we go. That should be changed. Oh my goodness gracious, Midna! Now you're running around. Still getting used to going live with my new, um... My new streaming software, so... Oh shit. I wonder if there's... Good god. Midna! You need to chill. No, don't, don't, don't do it. Okay. What are you doing? She just looked at me with like the cutest little eyes. <laughs> you know what? I'm just gonna write a note to myself as well. How do I? Now I wrote a note to myself so I won't forget. Might as well make a tweet right now. There, now I tweeted it. <laughs> Anywho, back to the art. I'm proud of myself today. I have had like 
I don't know. I'm, I'm in that... I'm in, like, a food craving mode right now. I'm just, like, really hungry all the time. And I've been, like really bad about like either just like not eating a, a real meal for dinner like last night I literally ate a bunch of like snack food for dinner because I just wasn't hungry enough for like a meal but I was hungry and I didn't want to cook anything and I was just ugh, I had a, like a lazy day like a real true lazy day but I felt like shit so I'm really proud of myself I made dinner like actually made dinner oh my god yeah this I'm wow hold on I wonder if I just is there any way to save salvage this? Hold on. No, there's no. That looks. Nope. You know what? I'm just gonna delete it. <laughs> um, I actually made myself this really good pork thing. It's actually better than I expected it to be. It's HelloFresh. It was one of the recipes that I was like, oh, sure, why not? Um. Yeah, I was actually pretty impressed. And I'm also really glad that I wasn't, I didn't let myself be lazy like I did yesterday and the day before. And I actually ate a real adult meal. <laughs> Depression is a fucking bastard, you know? <laughs> Just really fucking messes you up. In a different way. <laughs> this is terrible. No, that's not correct. <laughs> Don't mind me struggling. It just happens sometimes, okay? Okay, that was a little better. Let's start. Let's start there. I can salvage this. I've been wanting to replay Deltarune. I obviously played it, like, y'all probably caught me on Twitter just, like, fucking memeing everything. I mean, I, I guess I didn't do it. I was just retweeting everybody's, but, man, those memes are so good. <laughs> um, but I want to replay, I want to replay it. I don't want to do the Snowgrave route. And I'm not going to spoil what that is, but I mean, if you've spent like five minutes on the internet without blocking certain tags, I'm sure you've accidentally spoiled it yourself. Um, I don't want to do that, but I do want to, when I, I just kind of started at chapter two. I didn't, my save game for, I'm a little sad because my save game where I've actually, I actually beat Jevil is on my switch instead of the computer but i was like i gotta i gotta play delta rune like chapter two immediately when it came out i didn't want to miss it so i want to replay all the way through so i actually see like the differences like the extra stuff i guess not really extra but just straight through stuff that you can get if 
you actually had a save file that was used. Mid them. Up or down? You're gonna have to pick one, darling. She's just like, she's like doing laps around my desk. It's like... <laughs> Hold on, I have a sound for this. <laughs> Where is it? Yeah. Me to Midna. <laughs> Why are you running? Why are you running? Can I, uh, wow, 89% raised for the cosplay stream. Y'all are really, oh my God, we're so close. I can't contribute to that. It's all it's all y'all. All y'all. All <laughs> what cosplay, I wonder? We could discuss that. <laughs> all right. Um... Midna. No. <laughs> my darling. My baby doll. My sweet baby child. My sweet home skillet biscuit. I understand that you want cuddles, but right now I'm drawing. And you move too much. <laughs> you move too much. I promise I love you, okay? Even though you're not getting my attention right now. Well, actually, you are getting my attention right now. So you have my attention. But even though you're not getting my undivided attention right now. <laughs> I promise. You're very loved. You are a very loved cat. <laughs> Ain't nobody can deny that. Alright, let's get these thingies. <laughs> Which I had done before, but they weren't, they weren't good enough. We're doing them again. I like these little bird sounds that they put in with the music. I have an alarm that's set on my phone. It's one of those like slow alarms that like supposed to wake you up peacefully instead of one of those like really jarring like meh, 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 when like that supposedly it's better for you to wake up slowly it's supposed to it's actually supposed to be like healthier i don't know i certainly like it better i feel like i i the, it part of part of me becoming a morning person which yes i'll admit it you got me guys i'm a morning person i get it I, i'm boring um but i like the morning i do and part of it is probably because i started using those kinds of alarms where it wasn't necessarily terrible to wake up. Some days it is. Don't get me wrong. When I'm you're when you're like really tired and you don't want to get up. I mean, or I'm hungover or something like. Yeah, <laughs> obviously. But it's still better than being like shot awake by like I don't know a rock song or something. But uh, there's like a really nice nice one that's. It's bird song. So it's like, I feel like a, I feel like one of those princesses in like a fantasy, fantasy novel, like just, oh, just, she slept in the forest and she woke up to the sound of birds. And it's like, wow, this is extra, but it's really nice. And I like the sound of birds. It's always kind of funny to hear bird sounds be included in like those lo-fi tracks.
fall asleep to bird sounds? So, sorry, I was just kind of thinking about all the different sounds that I have on my phone. Because I have, like, that call map. Which has really helped, too, for, like, falling asleep. But I feel like I associate waking up with birds. So I feel like it'd be kind of weird if I tried to fall asleep to birds. It's like trying to wake up to crickets. Like, I feel like I... I associate crickets with falling asleep and then birds with waking up. So I bet if I'd really, I'd, I'd like mess myself up if I tried to switch the two. I don't know. I guess everybody's different. You know, I can't fall asleep to ocean sounds. That is like, I know that's like really soothing for some people. And like, I think if I'm actually like at the beach, maybe, I think like context matters for that, where it's like, uh, I'm on vacation at the beach. Like, yeah, of course I'd be pretty relaxed, but I can't actually like use those um, ocean sounds on little meditation apps or on Spotify or YouTube or whatever, because I actually have a really bad fear of like dark water. And so like, Closing my eyes and, like, hearing water around me is actually really anxiety-inducing. I think I'm going to drown. I think the water is, like, coming up and is going to, like, engulf me and I won't be able to swim up and, you know, save myself and get my breath. So, you know, exact opposite effect of what you want when you're trying to fall asleep. <laughs> I know why that that started I think I had like a really bad nightmare when I was a kid and I just like I don't know it just stuck with me and so I can't really I just can't shake it I'm not afraid of like swimming at night per se I guess it depends I don't like murky water for for sure but like swimming in a lake in the middle of the day like I, I understand that I'm not gonna be able to see the bottom and like it's okay ocean trenches are pretty terrifying I don't know I feel like it isn't there like a, there's a fear too that's like specific to um, shipwrecks, like underwater. My boyfriend has it. Actually, well, I, I, I think he does. I know his sister does. It's like sub mechanophobia or something where it's like you can't, you just really don't like and have like a phobia of like machinery and boats and ships and stuff that have like, they're underwater. And there's like a whole subreddit for it because of course there is. There's a subreddit for fucking everything. Like trypophobia. That's the fear of the holes. I hate, ugh. Mm, I hate that. I don't like that. I hate it so much. It's not even really that it's like a fear. It just disgusts me. Like it just makes me, it feels really gross when I look at stuff. Like the lotus seeds. Oh my God, I can't. Eh. <laughs> just thinking about it, it makes me itchy. Like it makes, it makes my skin, like I, I think that's literally what they mean when it makes your skin crawl. That's what it fucking feels like. It makes my skin crawl. I hate it. So definitely have that phobia. Super have arachnophobia. Why am I giving everybody my worst fears? I should stop just like, I should stop announcing this on the internet. People are gonna come into my DMs and be like, ha ha, here's a spider. And also here's some holes. Oh, and what about this? They're on top of dark water. And why don't, why don't for good measure you just throw a possessed doll in there too? Like, fuck it, all of my worst fears, just. <laughs> I want to maybe sit, you know what, no, I think I'm gonna switch gears and go to the highlights of the skin now. I'm getting, I'm like, if I if I keep going with the shadows, I'm afraid I'll like blend them too much and make them look mucky. So let's not do that. Let's go the other way and switch, and meet in the middle. Get them highlights in there. Oh my god, I love your highlighter. What do you use? Is that from Morky? I actually don't even know what highlighter I use. <laughs> I should. I think I switch it up a lot. And I think it's mostly just samples that I've gotten from Ipsy. Does Morphe even make highlighters? Morphe makes highlighters. They've got to. Okay, hold on. I'm looking this up. Morphe makeup highlighters. 
Oh, thank God. Okay. <laughs> they make a ton of different highlighters. I was like, I feel misinformed. I don't actually know that much about makeup. I really don't. And that's not me trying to be like, I'm not like other girls. I don't even know about makeup. Like, I really, I want to know about makeup. I'm just really bad at it. You'd think that being an artist, those skills would translate. And you know what? I'm sure for some people they do. For me, they don't. Try as I may. Even when I cosplay, my makeup is like really bare bones. I think the most intense cosplay makeup I've done recently is my Shadow Sai from Persona 5, which was fun. But even then, that's like kind of, I don't know. I feel like in terms of like cosplay and cosplayers, pretty basic stuff. Let's give him some knuckles. Let's push it even more. Let's really get that highlighter in there. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Ready. I kind of want to. I kind of want to shade the hair a little bit differently. Let me open up this other poster. I want to see what I've. I want to make sure I'm keeping everything consistent because it's got a. Um, I don't want to highlight too much. I don't want to shade too much. Man, I'm really proud of how I did that text. <laughs> Yeah, it's 
pretty consistent, I would say. I am going to lighten it up. Oh, that's not even. I'm going to lighten it up right there by the hairline. I feel like I darkened it too much. It's going. It's going too hard. Too much. It's a little better. Let's give the sideburn a little more, too. Some more cheek. I actually just light it completely. Yeah. Alright, let's get some lip color in there because it's. Well, <laughs> that would explain it. <laughs> it's like that's not the right color. That <laughs> looks like he's wearing lipstick. <laughs> now it really looks like he's wearing lipstick. <laughs> it's a good color on him. It's not what I want, though. Not what I'm going for. Playing with the saturation just a little. Alright, that looks pretty natural. Cool. Let's give those eyes some. You know what? I wonder if that shadow on the chin is what's like really throwing me. Let's just.
guess it doesn't really make much of a difference. All right, anyway. Um, where did I put it? Here it is. This is the iris. Boom, bomb. Well, first of all, I gotta get that line art to actually correctly match. Somewhere here. the pupil. Let's get some shading on the eye white. The sclera. The sclera. Shirt's looking a little flat. Let's fix it. Sorcil, I'm so glad that you think so. Trying to do him justice. Yay! We reached the cosplay stream goal! Oh, that's gonna be so exciting. I'm gonna have to put a poll on Twitter for what cosplay I'm gonna do. Hell yeah. Just in time for spooky season. It's been a minute since I've been in cosplay. Got things got busy, so I'm excited to finally get back into it. 
I need to take pictures for Instagram this time. Last time I was in cosplay, I didn't really take pictures for Instagram. I just kind of like got in it and made some TikToks and was like, I'm tired. Oh. Eventually, I want to cosplay my D&D character. Was that like egotistical to do that? It's like, here's my OC, I'm cosplaying them. I've seen it done, right? People cosplay their their D and D characters. I feel like mine's like I don't know. I I don't I feel like everybody else's D and D character is like so cool, and mine's just maybe a little bit basic. But I do love her. And I'm excited to play again tonight. Wait, we are playing tonight, right? I think we are. I feel like I need to get better at clothing folds. Save real quick just to keep that. Alright, let's do his shoes. Let's keep it pretty simple. I get pretty close to just shading with black. Oh god, what layer do I put that on? Oh no! Oh no! Okay, there. Found it! <laughs> I don't want to blend that too much so I want to keep that like leathery look I have to really crank that lightness up how's that oh yeah that's a good one Blur it just the tiniest amount. Just a, not that too much. Just the tiniest. And then I'm gonna go real light. Yeah. Shiny. <laughs> Shiny boots. I'll give some indication of it back here as well. Although, not too much because that boot is like kind of just 
hanging out in the back. Boom. I might blur it just a bit more. I don't want his shoes to become distracted, if that makes any sense. It's a little better, yeah. Okay. Um, I feel like I need to give him some more darkness around the eye. So I'm gonna. I don't want to delete it. I just want to. It's not on the nose and the mouth as well. Really push those darks. Now, for the gut. For the gun. They both reach for the gun, the gun, the gun, the gun. Where did I put... That layer. <laughs> Here it is. Aw, oh, Midna, what is it? Uh, what are you doing? Meow, what is it? You're yelling at me. <laughs> Do you want tummy rubs? Silly kitty. She can't stand that she's not getting attention right now. She can't stand it. How dare I? How dare I? I'm the worst mother in the world. <laughs> you know what? I think I'm gonna make Cody's gun pretty dark.
wish I could name the parts of the guns. I like really don't have that much knowledge. I feel like I've talked about this before, but I've got a lot to learn about guns. <sighs> Definitely room to learn. paintball like paintball what a still haven't been paintball shooting what the fuck i'm supposed to say there <laughs> wow i'm so dumb um <laughs> i've never been to a paintball range or whatever i think it would be no you know what would be really fun and what i really do want to do i want to go to one of those rage rooms for a lot of reasons, not just, oh, I'm angry and I have a lot of, I have a lot of anger that I want to get out by, I don't know. What do they let you do there? Smash TVs or something? <laughs> I almost want to see like how I would react. Like, I don't, I don't even know if I'd really be able to, well, I mean, surely I'm able to do it, but like, I feel like I'd get there and then I'd be like, oh, am, am I allowed? Are you sure? Like, I'm not going to get in trouble. And then like, I don't know. I can just like imagine myself like actually not being able to like unlock the rage and I would just be like eh, and like just kind of barely hit something. I don't know. Maybe I'm not giving myself enough credit. <laughs> enough credit? Maybe I'm giving myself too much credit. Like no, you're actually not that angry. <laughs> you're, you're actually very calm, very zen. <laughs> I don't know. I just, I want to go. I also just want to see like what did they really let you do there? Like, I, there's one, there's one that's like by my my place, and I see sometimes like when I go to the store, it's like right next to the grocery store that I go to. Um, I see people like donating, like old printers and old televisions and stuff, for the purpose of smashing them. Like that's what the entire thing is about. So it's like, do they really just like? let you in there and go for it? Paintball would be fun, but like, man, I bet it's a whole different experience of just smashing shit.
have too much. And that's a gun. <laughs> that's a gun. I guess he's totally shaded now. So, let's group him up. Merge. And we'll just throw him in there. Well, he's kind of small. That's okay. We can make him a little bigger. So I have Lauren, I've got Cody, I've got Miles, and the next one will be um sorry. I was <laughs> I was looking at the size. See that the Spencer. Sorry, I did have my notes up. I was just looking at the, I was trying to proportion everybody. Might have his foot actually come off frame a little bit. And then I might have to move Miles over. I did kind of like him being right there in the center, but I think my, what I might have to do is take him and push him to the side just slightly. And then in the tableau, I'll have Spencer kind of slightly, well, maybe not that far over but I'll have Spencer like right here. And so they're kind of in like this formation where they can fight zombies. I might actually push Cody further back. So if I push him further back, I can probably bring her forward a little. Yeah. So. I might take that not brains and, nope, that's the candy. I'm gonna lock that layer. Don't wanna ruin that. Nope, that's fine. Stop Photoshop, I don't want to. No! You can't make me. I could take that not brains. Why are you doing that? I literally just told you to lock that lair. How dare you? I will destroy your. Oh my good God. All right, you know what? <laughs> no, stop. I just, this one. Bruh. 
I don't know what you want from me, fam. Dude. Why won't you let me select this one? This is insanity. This is like actual insanity. I'm just trying to edit the text here. I'm like not making this up. Why is it not letting me edit this? What is that? Is that like a shape layer? I'm not understanding. This is so strange. Okay, well, fuck you then. I'm gonna just do this. Ha ha! I guess. That was weird. Anyway. Turn everything else back on. <sighs> See, now Photoshop is just doing all sorts of crazy shit. My- Dude. Zoom. Just zoom. Grr. Killing me. That way there's not that weird space, but I can also hide it behind Miles a little bit. Or I could hide Miles behind it, depending on what we decide, but so far we've got these characters, and also that's this is a um, one more thing. Uh, where is, is it this? It sure is. Got like a little ground there. Take that out. We've got a nice little tableau and Spencer will be right there. You know what? Maybe I, I want to shift Miles over just a bit. All right, well, anyway, save. I got one more character to do, but I will get to her next time. That is Cody. Bing, bam, bop. Yay. Now! Um, I don't have too much time before I got to go play some dind. Dind. D and D. D and D. Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> um, I have some ideas for emotes that I wrote down. So, I'm gonna switch gears a little bit. Close these out. Yes, I do want to save. And we'll go over to Spooky Emote Town. Boom, boom. Um. Oh, so this is what I have so far. I've got. Um. Vamp Love. <laughs> I'm so excited about these. I've already uploaded some of them. I haven't, like, made them usable yet. But if you subscribe, of course, you'll be getting them. Or if you have enough channel points, you might be able to unlock them. But I always, of course, would recommend subscribing because then you get all of the tier one. We. Or if you subscribe higher, you get the other ones. Um, Skello. Uh, Mummy Sus. sus but it's mummy get it haha <laughs> i love these they're so funny and then uh probably one of my personal favorites dead <laughs> dead oh ghosty that's actually my um discord my discord icon right now <laughs> oh it's so cute i might actually change my twitter icon not gonna lie we'll see um, it depends on which one I like better. So, let's see. What was the next one I was going to do? I was going to do Franken hype. So, I'm pulling up this. This is like the normal hype emote. Uh, I just made like an extra document so I wouldn't accidentally save over it. But I was going to make this a little Frankenstein version of my hype emote. So, it's seasonal like all the rest. Um, no, I'm not going to save. Shell. Franken hype. 
Should be pretty easy. Um, I think I'll keep the hype there, but until, uh, let's see here. Oh, I actually turned this off. Okay, so I've got date. Oh, I guess I just layered them all together. All right. No problem. That's fine. Ooh, sorry. My eyes are bothering me again. Whew. Um, I guess I'll start with the skin. <laughs> kind of like with my, um, my gosh. Sorry, y'all. Give me a second. about that <laughs> my eyes were just like burning not like the inside like or not the inside not like the eyeball or anything but like my eyelids I don't know I hope my skin things are my skin problems are coming back I thought I thought it was working um all right so much like with my skillo emo I was gonna let's colorize it actually <laughs> oh it's so cute already um, I'm just going to change some of the colors around. Let's see. I don't know how green I want. I think I want to keep it kind of light. That's a good one. You know what, actually? I need to mark down what I'm actually. All right, 118, 46, negative 22. 118. You know what? I have a note open. I'm just going to do it this way. Um, 118. 46. Negative 22. Cool. Now that I have the yet, I can properly do this as well. So I can keep it in the same, like, color family. So, 118. Uh, 40, 40, what was, oh my God, see, this is why I wrote it down, 46. And then I'll make it darker, negative 54. So same thing, except negative 54. That is so. I have 
the same color value. I guess I could just color overlay it, but I'm gonna do it this way. Actually, no, I'm gonna, oh yeah, I'm gonna do it that way. Cool. It's very green. <laughs> All very green. <laughs> That's okay though, because I'll make it worthwhile. actually make it a little bit more blue. That way I can somewhat differentiate. written down the values. Why did I not do that? Do it again. <laughs> so I'm actually doing a little more blue. Crank that saturation up. And maybe back down. One sixty five, forty two, sixty five, forty two, and sixty five. All these color values. Let's actually do this one first. All right, one sixty five. This one probably should stay in the green family. God, it's kind of tough. Maybe I should go more blue since my hair is green. Maybe I should go more yellow, actually. What looks better? I guess I can just change the colors at any given time, but So 
cute. Keep thinking maybe I should make it more gray or go blue or I could go more yellow go hella green oh whoops it's changing the background too I didn't mean for it to do that I just wanted to can't decide. A hard call because it's <sighs> pick a frack. Um, hold on, Frankenstein emote. People keep them pretty green. Frankie Stein from Monster High. I love it. <gasps> I should change one of my eye colors. Oh, that'd be so cute. Wait, hold on. That's what I should do. That'll help. Oh my God. I'm so dumb. I'm so dumb. I literally could change my hair to be... <laughs> I could change my hair so it was like Bride of Frankenstein hair. I'm so dumb. Why didn't I think of that? Literally so easy. Oh my god. It was right in front of me and I just didn't see it. I'm so dumb. For real. I'm gonna change my shirt color too, actually. Also, I thought of a way faster way to fucking do this. I can group these together and use fucking hue saturation adjustment layers. I don't know why I didn't do that before. Sometimes I just enjoy making things a lot harder for myself. It's still like a fun purpley shirt. Yeah. Give it some more, give it some more contrast. You know what I mean? Some contrast, contrast. Okay, now for the hair. I don't fucking know why I did it the other way. I feel so stupid, like so dumb, like so dumb, for real. Why did I do it that way? Also using adjustment layers is way less permanent than the other one. I really don't, not that I need it to be less permanent, but I have way more control over how to, <sighs> oh my God. No, what I was gonna do was, Uh, I don't want to go all the way. I do, but I don't. Actually, I do need to do this individually. Give me a minute. How down? How down? I can do this. Wait. Did I just? Or did I just? <laughs> I'm a genius. It's fine. 
come on. I know you wanna. Um. <laughs> um, actually, no, I can't do it this way. That's fine. You know what? It's okay. It'll be okay. Because what I can do is use that layer as a reference. But also, I can put this in there, oh, underneath, yes, and I'll just turn these off for a minute, let it just be black, and then I will take my beautiful pen and use it for what, it, what it's for, and I'll draw with it. What a concept. Let's do it. <laughs> you wanna? I wanna. I'm gonna co cover up my brows, but... Wait, can I turn off my brows? Yeah, I'm gonna turn off my brows real quick. I don't have brows. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, that's one eye. And that's another eye. Shot the eyes separately. I don't know why I have separate eyes. I'll get there. Oh no. <laughs> it's gonna have to be... Why is my arm in the way? You know what? <laughs> It'll be fine. It'll be okay. Actually, I'm just gonna go like one, one step above black. Just so there's a teeny tiny bit of contrast. Just the teeniest of tiniest. Consarnum. I need that eraser to have a harder edge than that. That was a little too feathered. Wake up. Are you knocking things over? You better not be. What I think is happening is happening. It better not be. You know, I actually really like the part of drawing when, like, you get to turn your, your art into your own coloring book. Because that's really what drawing is, right? You're just making your own coloring book. At least that's how I like to think about it. realized my glove was not. I was like, why does this, my screen feel weird? Oh, it's because I don't have my glove back on. <laughs> Duh.
I was planning initially. Was I was going to take this layer, put a beautiful color adjustment layer on top of it. what I can do too is I can well I could probably just add highlights and stuff <laughs> it looks dumb but what I was going to do was I was going to use this layer as a reference doesn't really help me now, does it? Does the, why is it? No, not like that. I guess I do have to draw it back in, but that's okay. I can do it. And I will make that truly black. Break my and I'll essentially just trace. Where I had my other shading. And it'll all wake out. Far out. See, it's working out nicely. And it's still less work than having to like redraw everything by myself. All right, that's the shading layer. Now for the highlight layer. Oh, goodness. Thank you, Joe's, Ho sorry. Joe's, no, Jose45, sorry, I can't read. <laughs> Thank you so much for the follow. <laughs> the follow, the follow sounds like startled me. I was just like so focused and all of a sudden I heard the music. So. <laughs> You made me jump, <laughs> but thank you. Um, okay, so oh, I don't want to do, I want to do, you know what? I'm 
just gotta throw some stripes in there. <laughs> let's just let's just go for it. Freaking hype! Freaking hype! I didn't want it there. I just wanted to zoom. Why are you not letting me zoom in and out? You're killing me. Mm, it looks dumb. Let me try to make it thinner. Nope, still dumb. I'll just leave it. I did not mean to do that. I mean, I did, but not like that. <laughs> hmm. They're too bulbousy looking. That's the problem. watching the Bride of Frankenstein. I was kind of mad that like she really did not get any screen time. She like shows up at the end of the movie and it's like, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Um, 
right now I was gonna do some like lighter gray highlight layers. Should be too much. I might just leave it. about it is just like not translating but it'll be okay um i was gonna change one of the eyes what's my left i'll change my left eye um like my iris so let's do a little color change thing there come on let's make it like yeah no I don't want to make it yellow because the star is yellow let's make it like orange or maybe I should make it like blue or pink or something you know what make it like a reddish orange I'm also gonna add like a little highlight to my eyes just because it's kind of hard to see against the dark hair so let's just add a little layer there and just go for it I need to change my smoothing like way high because my hand is like not steady right now to zoom again.
almost done, but I gotta do the scars and stuff. But mm, I can, I have got time. I've got time. I can do it. Hype. I have to make it larger like that one, but for now. the saturation on that too. Well. Oh yeah, I'm gonna just make it not as not as pink. Alright now for the scars on the body. I almost forgot about my freckles. Oh no! Uh, damn it. I was literally in the middle of changing the colors and then I exited out like a dummy. Alright, cool. Oh my god, stop drawing random lines. Stop. Drawing random lines. Um, what was I? Scars, scars on the body. You know what? I was gonna do those in black, but I kind of want to do them. I kind of want to do them in that green, actually. Maybe that one's too, too down the middle. Let's move it. I want to keep moving it around. Just... It's kind of hard because I want it to like run in between. Maybe I should just make it smaller. You know what? That's good. I'm going to say that one's good. 
think I might actually change it from black though to that green that I used around my skin. So what was it? 118, 46, negative 54. Yeah, I think I like it to be there. Okay, cool. Now, I'll copy that. Merge them. Now I can make it look like this one. I'll have to make it a little bigger. Move it up. A little bigger. Oops. Well, shit. <laughs> I have a straggler. Bye bye. Bye bye. Ha ha. Hi. I want to change this stripe though to let's make it red. Yeah, there we go. Franken hype. <laughs> All right. Um, I'm gonna give a good, a good save, and then I think this is where I have to I have to go. Um, oh my god! Wow, I've reached 130 followers tonight. That's awesome. That's like a good even number. I love it. Oh, that makes my my heart happy. Um, <clears throat> I will be streaming again on Friday. I'll be playing some. Spooky games! That's the first day of my Spookathon! I'm so excited! It's the first day of October, so I'll be playing um, Mad Father. Is that what I put on my schedule? I'm pretty sure that's what I put on my schedule. 